Hello, this is Vern, and if you've been hurt in the past and want to find love but are scared to put yourself out there, this video is for you because I'm going to share with you the top seven reasons why you should risk falling in love again. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to BernMendez.com. And as I mentioned a few seconds ago, if you are on the fence about falling in love again because you've been hurt, but you know in your heart of hearts that there's so much more for you to experience, if you don't want to die without having experienced the deep sense of connection and synchronicity and friendship and aliveness and passion and lovership and sex and all that a powerful lifelong relationship with someone can generate, but you're doubtful about your capacity to do so, and you don't know if you have what it takes to put yourself out there, I'm going to share with you right now why you need to learn how to do this, why it's imperative that you dedicate your life to learning how to create this result for yourself. The first one is because you are love. The deepest expression of you can be manifested through loving a human being. Some people say that loving a human being the way you can love your intimate partner is an excuse for loving God. <laughs> It, or loving the universe if you don't believe in God, but it's a deep expression of who you are. It's the essence of who you are as a human being and being willing to externalize it and focalize it into a person allows you to develop it, allows you to know yourself and allows you to not die with that music inside of you. Second reason why you need to risk loving again is because it will create a different level of spiritual growth than if you stand by yourself meditating uh, at the top of a mountain without connecting to other human beings. Yes, it's more scary and yes, it's more challenging, but it also creates, because of the level of vulnerability required, because of the level of selflessness required, because of the level of ultimate presence that being in a deep relationship demands of you, the level of growth that you can experience as a soul is different than the one that you could experience in my life experience, at least in my personal <laughs> Uh, observation different than the one you can experience on your own. Third, because it creates a strong sense of meaning in your life. It creates a foundation, a strong ground upon which to walk that is a prerequisite for happiness. Not being in love with someone, but meaning. And if you can dedicate your life to people that you love, including an intimate partner, you're inoculating yourself for the inevitable shit that will land on your doorstep as just a simple sign of being alive. People will die, uh, businesses will fail, <laughs> uh, friends will betray you, but when you have a human being who is the closest to you and you maintain and foster that relationship, it's going to prevent some of that pain from propagating and dominating your life. Four, because the level of passion that you can experience in a powerful relationship is an essential element for greatness. Part of that inoculation that, that the meaning creates is part of inoculation, but also part of you being expressive and you feeling alive and you feeling like there's so much more to give and do because you'll do more for others than you do for yourself. So passion is not a luxury, it's a necessity in this lifetime. And if you didn't want to feel deep feelings, you wouldn't be here. This is the place, this place, meaning Earth, is the place where souls come to experience feelings. And passion is one of those feelings that is high on the list of important moments and important, an important essence to take with you from this place. Next one is because it's going to help you to experience a deeper sense of belonging and companionship. Because Yes, you can do things alone, but why would you if there's a deep soul next to you who wants to be part of your life and you can be part of theirs? It creates friendship. It creates a sense of family. It's the deepest expression of friendship in that you get to share everything with this human being and you can be seen, which leads me to my next point, which is witness. You can be witness. You can be seen you can be experienced, you can be uh, loved from a distance and loved from up close. Witness, as a, one of my favorite philosophers shares, is the cornerstone, is the touchstone of friendship. The ability to walk down a path that cannot be done all on your own, that's what this is all about. It 
creates a deep vulnerability and it creates a deep sense of companionship. And the last one, because the love you give is the only thing you will take with you when you depart from this beautiful life of yours. I will never forget the day my father died. The next day I went to his house. It was one of the most painful moments of my life, entering his room and witnessing his bed empty because he's no longer there suffering from cancer. He's gone. And the law that permeates my life and my, the life of my brothers and the life of my mom that he was able to share, that's what he took with him. And I would not be here were it not for the love that he shared with my mom. So you will take with you the love you give to this human, the love you take, give to this special person in a way that you can't even comprehend as your life. So hope this makes some sense. Hope this is insightful to you in some way. Hope this helps to restore a little bit uh, of the power behind why it's important to learn how to love powerfully and why to risk for love. And if you find this is helpful and you want to go deeper as to how you can attract this human being into your life, I created a free training for you. All you have to do is go to the first link on the description of this video, click on that link, enter your name and email, and be redirected to this free training that I created for you. If you like this video, please click like or thumbs up. And if you want hand-holding, help, and accountability, if you can watch videos and they're awesome, but they're not changing your life, at the speed at which you want to, then ask for help. Uh, if you fill out the form on the second link and we're fit to work together, we will connect and have a conversation and find out what it's all about. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.